Like, what exactly do you are you referring to? Like, can you go into it? Because we're this podcast is mostly about people that experience trauma and about things yeah. that really change or shift their life to make to get them yeah. stuck and help them. So we're trying to hope people heal. So hearing somebody else's yep. story and hearing where they came from and how where yep. they are now will be great. So can you please elaborate on some of the things that you've been through? So these yep. you, the, the listeners will not feel alone in this process. Yeah, absolutely. So I, um, I found myself in South Africa after I got divorced. So I, I got married in my early twenties. I've got a, a daughter who's now 20 and, um, I I think on some level I knew before I got married that it was the wrong thing to be doing but I think I was 23 24 at the time and I kind of went with it and I went with it with the attitude of if it doesn't work out I'll just get divorced and anybody who's been divorced will know, know that you don't just get divorced it's not that simple yeah. and um he yeah it was a it wasn't the it wasn't a great relationship um i learned a lot of lessons i think about communicating my own needs in that relationship which i didn't do because i can remember when i had the conversation with him and i said we're done and i said here's why and he said to me but you never said anything and that was a a big lesson for me <laughs> um i'm not sure it would have changed anything but you know and then not long after that, I met a guy who was also going through a divorce and we ended up, he got a job in South Africa and my daughter and I moved over to South Africa with, with him. So um, I talk about in my coaching being, helping people navigate change and get unstuck. It's because I've done quite a lot of big changes yeah. and I moved to South Africa with this guy. I literally jacked my whole life in. I think so this was 2009. I I don't think I really thought about the long-term consequences of that sort of change. You know, I was was not quite 30. 